Hi, my name's Rich, I'm the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun Foundation Field Geologist and welcome to another episode on Forgotten Pyramids. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like these kinds of videos. I'm filming here today on top of the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. This is the first in a series of videos that will be concentrating on the underlying geometry and linear alignments between the Bosnian Pyramids and the surrounding hilltops within the Bosnian Pyramid Valley. It's my hope that at the end of this video series it will have convinced at least some of you that the Bosnian Pyramids cannot be down to the work of nature. So the first geometric figure that becomes apparent within the Bosnian Pyramid Valley is the equilateral triangle. This is formed between the apices of the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun, Moon and Dragon. What's interesting to point out here is that all three of those pyramids are aligned accurately to the cardinal points north, south, east and west. In 2008 we used the automated linear anomaly detection system which is usually used for tectonic studies and we were able to determine and confirm that the break angles of the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun are each at 45 degrees and this would be expected of a right square pyramid and thus this confirms the accurate orientation to the cardinal points. So the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun where I am right now I'm at 766 meters above sea level. That makes this pyramid at least 300 meters tall. 2.2 kilometers away is the Bosnian Pyramid of the Moon and that's 190 meters tall. That makes it 50 meters taller than the Great Pyramid of Giza. The smallest pyramid within the equilateral triangle is also the most southern pyramid and that's the Pyramid of the Dragon and that's 110 meters tall. Now, what is the significance of the equilateral triangle? Well, we actually find the figure of the equilateral triangle around other megalithic sites and pyramid complexes around the world. Also, the equilateral triangle is fundamental to geometry. In Euclid's book Elements, Book 1, his first proposition is focused on the construction of an equilateral triangle. We also see in occult schools of wisdom, masonry for example, the equilateral triangle is used symbolically. Now often we will find that the equilateral triangle is circumscribed with a circle or often symbolically it's replaced, the circle is replaced with a serpent. And in actual fact if we circumscribe the equilateral triangle here in Bosnia, the peak behind me which is called Chetnitsa, the second tallest peak adjacent to the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun, that falls exactly on the circumscribed circle. So this is again as I say the first video in a series. Um, as the series expands you will get a deeper insight into the underlying design principles of the Bosnian Pyramid Valley. So stay tuned uh, for the next series of videos. I will also be taking us on uh, exploratory views of different sites around the Bosnian Pyramid Valley so please make sure to subscribe to this channel to stay up to date with news and happenings here within the Bosnian Pyramid Valley. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hi, my name's Rich. I'm the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun Foundation Field Geologist, and welcome to another episode on Forgotten Pyramids. If you like these kinds of videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe. So today I'm filming on a perch overlooking the centre of the Bosnian Pyramid Valley we will be continuing our discussion regarding the geometric alignments. In the previous video we discussed the equilateral triangle formed between the peaks of the Bosnian pyramids of Sun, Moon and Dragon. In this video I'm going to be introducing to you two further structures, the Bosnian Pyramid of Love and the Bosnian Temple of Mother Earth. Now these two structures are equal in magnitude to the sheer scale of the previously aforementioned pyramids and the alignments that they form speak of their importance as major sites within the Bosnian Pyramid Valley. So the Bosnian Pyramid of Love is found adjacent to the Pyramid of the Sun and its access plateau is adjoined to the second tallest peak in the area, Chetnitsa. At its apex, the Bosnian Pyramid of Love has a flat plateau at 666 metres above sea level, making it 230 metres tall. Taller, in fact, than the Bosnian Pyramid of Moon, which is 190 metres tall. Now, what makes the Bosnian Pyramid of Love 
are unique compared to the other pyramids within the valley is its orientation. Unlike the sun, moon and dragon that have cardinal alignments, the Bosnian Pyramid of Love has an offset of 60 degrees. Now why this is significant, there are several reasons. Number one, it's a reference to the internal angles of the equilateral triangle found nearby between the peaks of Sun, Moon and Dragon. An equilateral triangle must have internal angles of 60 degrees each. Also, everyone knows minutes are divided by 60 seconds and the hours are divided by 60 minutes, 60 and 60. What people might not know is that this is an ancient holdover from the Sumerian culture. They were the first to divide time into minutes and seconds, 60 each. Also, they were the first to divide a 360 degree circle into minutes and seconds. Where we also see the number 60 related to the Sumerian culture is their mathematics. In modern culture, we use what we call base 10 math, where the Sumerians, they used base 60 math. And actually, astrophysicists today have observed that base 60 math is preferential for complex astronomical calculations. So the second structure, the Bosnian Temple of Mother Earth, is perhaps one of the more enigmatically shaped structures within the Bosnian Pyramid Valley. It's not a pyramid at all. Although it does retain pyramidal features, you can see particularly on its northeastern extent. If you look on the 2012 LiDAR digital terrain model, you can see triangular faces orientated north, south, east, west. At its highest point, the Temple of Mother Earth is 230 metres tall, matching the height of the nearby Bosnian Pyramid of Love. We also see that the curvature of its ridgeline is in according to a circular arc, a circle with a particular radius. And the radius of this circle is significant, and we see this occurring in several places within the Bosnian Pyramid Valley. But that's for a future video to discuss further. We also see that the curvature on the western side, it decays downwards towards ground level, and where it meets that ground, that curve is facing perfectly north. So the first planar alignment we'll discuss today is the linear arrangement between the Moon and Dragon Pyramids and Temple of Mother Earth. You can see that their spot heights all occur on the same straight line. Now this straight line forms part, one of the legs, of the equilateral triangle Sun, Moon, Dragon. But what else is interesting is the placement of Temple of Mother Earth along that line. So if you take the total length of the Temple of Mother Earth structure, you can see that it's placed exactly in the middle between the Moon and Dragon Pyramids. This effectively divides that line into four equal parts. So here I'm looking at the Bosnian Pyramid of the Dragon. There's the highest point on Temple of Mother Earth. There you can see vaguely its triangular face. Uh, it's covered in trees, so it's quite difficult to make out without the uh, tree penetrating capabilities of a LIDAR survey. And there we have the Bosnian Pyramid of the Moon. All three spot heights occurring on the same straight line. So the second alignment that I'll discuss today in this video is an arrangement between the Bosnian Pyramid of Sun, Bosnian Pyramid of Love and again Temple of Mother Earth. We can see that the spot heights of these three structures all falls along the same straight line. Now we can look into it a little bit further. If we take the distance between the Sun Pyramid and the Love Pyramid, we can see that that is exactly one third of the distance of the whole line. Now we can also extend that line a little bit further to the southeast to a point on a named hill called Laniste. And when we do that, we see that Temple of Mother Earth falls exactly in the middle between Laniste and Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. So I'm filming on top of the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun and there is the flat plateau of the Pyramid of Love. Beyond that is the spot height of Temple of Mother Earth and beyond that is the named hill Laniste. So between where I am now and the Love Pyramid is one third of the distance to Temple of Mother Earth 
and then Temple of Mother Earth sits exactly halfway between Laneshti and where I am filming from right now. So between this alignment and the previously spoken alignment, we can see that Temple of Mother Earth serves as a bisector on two separate linear arrangements. So I hope you enjoyed that second video looking at the alignments found within the Bosnian Valley of the Pyramids. It's also my hope that as this series progresses, it's going to become less and less plausible for you to believe that these structures here in central Bosnia are entirely down to the work of nature. If you like this kind of video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Please share it to help grow this channel and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. Okay, people. We're going for a drive. I've just got to get into my all-terrain tech. Hi everyone, my name's Rich, I'm the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun Foundation field geologist and today I've driven out to show you one of my favourite locations within the Bosnian Pyramid Valley. So I'm stood on top of a location we call Ginya Tumulus and this is a rounded mound found in the middle of a flat bottomed valley and it's completely unique, there are no other hills at the base of this valley other than this Ginya Tumulus. Now this tumulus is approximately 25 metres in height and it's very important the specific height that this hill has and we'll explain more later why that is so. This mound has found on it many megalithic blocks. Many have been removed but today we find several. Some of them weigh at least three or four tons. But the most important thing is the view that you see behind me. Right there is the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. Let me change camera angles and give you a better explanation. So looking directly in the centre of the screen we see the peak of the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun and that is exactly four kilometres away from where we are right now. We are also looking towards the Sun at 333 degrees. We can clearly see the Sun Pyramid's southwest corner and northeast corner. The southeast corner might be a bit difficult to see because it's coming directly towards us. In front of the Sun Pyramid we see the flat plateau of the Bosnian Pyramid of Love, which is 666 metres 
above sea level. We also see the Love Pyramid's southeast corner. Now going back to the height of Guinea Tumulus, the perspective this gives from this location shows us that the Sun Pyramid's northeast corner directly aligns with the Love Pyramid's southeast corner. If we were to go to the bottom of this plateau, uh, bottom of this tumulus or anywhere, any other location, we would not get that view perspective wise. We also see that the Sun Pyramid's southwest corner meets the Love Pyramid's flat plateau at exactly the point where it starts to rise up to the second highest peak, Chetnitsa. Moving further to the left we have the highest peak, Kurtnitsa, and then closer to the foreground on the left we have the Bosnian Pyramid of the Dragon. Jumping over to the right side of the screen we have the south side of Temple of Mother Earth. So this is what we call the sacred landscape of the Bosnian Pyramid Valley. also see from this location the hill Laniste. It's directly adjacent to Guinea Tumulus and this is the hill that is in alignment with the spot height of the Sun, Love, Temple of Mother Earth and itself. So Temple of Mother Earth is the bisector between these structures. It sits exactly halfway between the top of this hill and the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. Now here are two of several megalithic blocks still present on the surface of the tumulus. This one measures over two and a half meters by about one meter, 60 centimeters deep. So this stone, probably around four tons. Now, uh, local villagers, the elders, um, they said that there were many of these stone blocks on the surface of the tumulus as late as World War II. And in, in the decades after the war, many of these stones were taken and used for foundations and wall building in the nearby village. So as of today unfortunately no publicly acknowledged archaeological work has taken place on Guinea Tumulus so I cannot tell you for certain whether this is man-made or natural at this point. However, what I will say is if you take into account the sacred landscape behind me and all the other geometric alignments within the Bosnian Pyramid Valley and the fact that this mound was covered in huge megalithic blocks, there's a good chance that this mound was constructed by the same people who built the Bosnian Pyramids. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, leave comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.